Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to Technically Explained. In this video, we are going to again study the common gate amplifier, but this time without the effect of the resistance RD. So RD will assume to be infinite. Now this is my common gate configuration where input is applied to the source terminal, output is taken from the gate terminal. And to solve for AC analysis, C1 and C2 will be shorted out as well as this resistance, this uh, this DC voltage source will be shorted out. So we are going to have a simplified diagram here. And if you can have a look in the place of this diagram, I haven't placed the RD. So the RD is assumed to be infinite. So we are going to assume that RD is going to be infinite. That is why we are going to assume we are going to solve this common gate configuration without the effect of RD. Now to solve again, we have VI. This is my VI and VI is equal to VS. And we also have VGS is equal to VG minus VS because VG is grounded. So this is going to be equal to VGS minus VGS is equal to minus VS, which means that VI is equal to minus VGS or VGS is equal to minus VI. So this is my one equation. Now to find the input impedance, again, I'm going to assume that I have a current I prime flowing over here. The current I prime is flowing over here. We are going to have a V prime over here and we are going to have a Z prime over here where Z prime is going to be equal to Z I prime is going to be equal to V prime divided by I prime or V dash divided by I dash. And this V prime is actually the, my V S. This a V prime is actually my V S or V I. And this is equal to minus V G S. So now if I suppose that I prime is flowing over here, we have G M V G S flowing in this direction and I prime flowing in this direction. So simply the I prime is going to be equal to the minus V G S. So we have I prime is equal to minus G M V G S. This is equation two. So now we have Z prime. I can place it over here. Z prime is going to be equal to, let me write it over here. That I prime is going to be equal to V I prime, which is minus V G S divided by the I prime, which is minus G M V G S. So this V G S and this V G S is going to be canceled out as well as the minus is going to be canceled out. So Z I prime is going to be equal to one by G M is the one by transconductance. And to find the input impedance, this R S is going to be in parallel with the Z I prime. So we are going to have Z I is equal to R S parallel with 1 by gm. So we have found the input impedance without the effect of Rd. Now to find the output impedance. For output impedance, input should be shorted. So this will be shorted. So this will be shorted out. At the output, we are only going to have the Rd. So we are going to have Z0 is equal to Rd. And this is my equation too. So output impedance has also been found out. Third and final is the voltage gain. Voltage gain is given by V0 by VI and V0 is equal to IDRD which in this case is going to be equal to GM minus GM VGS into RD because V0 is equal to IDRD so within K in place of ID I have placed the minus GM VGS. Because if you can have a look, ID is flowing here and GMVGS is flowing over here. So that will be minus GMVGS. Now VGS is equal to minus VI. This is going to be minus VI into RD, which means V0 by VI is equal to GMRD, which means that the voltage gain is equal to GMRD. And again, we have found the approximate equation for the voltage gain as well. So this is the approximate equation for the voltage gain. And if you can have a look, we do not have a negative sign over here. So this is, there is no inversion in common gate amplifier. Thank you.